Have you ever looked at a map and wondered why there isn't a bridge connecting Europe and Africa? It's a question that has intrigued architects, engineers, and historians for decades. After all, these two continents have a shared history, culture, and economic interests, and they are separated by just a few kilometers of water. It seems like a no-brainer to connect them, right? Well, not so fast. The reality is that building a bridge between Europe and Africa is a lot more complicated than it may seem at first glance. There are a lot of problems that have prevented this ambitious project from becoming a reality. Building a bridge between Europe and Africa has been a dream of engineers and architects for centuries. However, despite advances in technology, the project remains a daunting task. One of the main reasons is the geography of the two continents, which presents a multitude of challenges. Firstly, Europe and Africa are separated by the vast expanse of the Mediterranean Sea, which is over 2,000 kilometers wide at its widest point. This presents a significant obstacle for bridge construction. The sea is prone to strong currents, winds, and storms, making it difficult to build a stable structure that can withstand the harsh marine environment. Moreover, the Mediterranean is a seismically active area, with frequent earthquakes and underwater volcanic activity which can also make bridge construction challenging. To illustrate the difficulty of building a bridge across such a large body of water, let's take a look at some other long bridges around the world. The longest bridge in the world is the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge in China, which spans 102.4 miles or 165 kilometers over land. Building a bridge over water is much more challenging due to the added complexity of dealing with marine conditions. For example, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel in Virginia, which is 23 miles or 37 kilometers long, was a major engineering feat that took five years to complete and cost over $200 million. It required the construction of two tunnels and four artificial islands, as well as a complex system of causeways and bridges. Despite the challenges posed by the geography of Europe and Africa, there have been several proposals over the years to build a bridge across the Mediterranean. In 2002, a group of Italian architects proposed a 6-mile, or 10-kilometers bridge between Sicily and Tunisia. The project was met with widespread opposition due to concerns about the impact on the environment, as well as the political and economic challenges of building such a structure. Building a bridge between Europe and Africa is not only a technical challenge, but also a political and economic one. Over the years, various proposals for such a bridge have been put forward, but they have been hindered by a range of factors including historical and cultural differences, economic considerations, and geopolitical tensions. One of the biggest challenges to building a bridge between Europe and Africa is the historical and cultural differences between the two continents. Europe and Africa have different languages, religions, and traditions, which can make it difficult to build consensus around such a project. Moreover, there is a long history of colonization and exploitation that has created distrust and animosity between the two regions. These factors have made it challenging to build the trust and cooperation necessary to undertake a project of this magnitude. Economic considerations have also played a significant role in the lack of progress on this front. Building a bridge across the Mediterranean would be a massive undertaking that would require significant investment. Estimates suggest that such a project could cost as much as $250 billion. The cost of construction, combined with the economic benefits of the bridge, has led to disagreement between different stakeholders. While some argue that the bridge would bring significant economic benefits, such as increased trade and tourism, others point out that the high cost of construction could outweigh the potential benefits. Geopolitical tensions have also contributed to the challenges of building a bridge between Europe and Africa. The Mediterranean is a strategic waterway, and several countries have competing interests in the region. Tensions between Morocco and Spain over the disputed territory of Western Sahara have made cooperation on a bridge project difficult. Moreover, there are concerns about security and migration, which could complicate the construction and operation of a bridge. While a bridge between Europe and Africa may seem like the most straightforward solution to connect the two regions, there are alternative modes of transportation and infrastructure that could achieve similar goals while mitigating some of the challenges associated with building a bridge. One such alternative is high-speed rail, which has been proposed as a way to connect the two continents. High-speed rail could allow for faster transportation of people and goods between Europe and Africa, without the need for a physical bridge. The technology for high-speed rail has advanced significantly in recent years, 
and there are several examples of high-speed rail networks around the world, including in Europe and Asia. Another alternative is an undersea tunnel, which could also provide a direct connection between Europe and Africa. While an undersea tunnel would still be a significant engineering feat, it would not present the same environmental challenges as a bridge, and it could potentially be less expensive to construct. 